Hey guys, welcome back to Wardle Road and the long overdue February update. Um, I don't know if anyone has seen already on some Facebook groups, but a lot has changed on the layout. And at the moment, actually, none of the original layout is in here in the kitchen with me at the moment, but I've started work on my new depot, so more on that in a second. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to um, Trackside Signs who have uh, partnered with me for this video and um, more on that later on. But if you do want to get any of your Trackside Signs, then it's uh, tracksidesigns.co.uk and if you use Wardle at checkout, you get 5% off. So that's something worth taking note of. A link to that will be in the description. Um, this video is going to be a little bit uh, sort of chop and change really because I've, I've got bits of stuff that I was working on the other board which I'll update you on first. And um, I'll also show you a lot of the stuff that I've been working on the new depot. So uh, if you do enjoy, as always, please uh, leave me a comment down below with what you uh, think of what I've been doing, getting up to. And if you've got any uh, tips or anything that you might be able to help me with, as um, I'm not that great. Um, I haven't really delved into the idea of doing depots as such yet. So this is quite a, a big project for me. I, I've mainly based a lot of the stuff I do on countryside. So um, I'm going to give it a good go, but I have got a, a lot of stuff on the way as well. So subscribe to keep updated. And um, yeah, the competition's still open as well. That closes on the 28th. So uh, there's a previous video on that if you want to go check that out and uh, enter that for some uh, cool giveaways. And yeah, other than that, please enjoy the video. Um, like, comment and subscribe. And uh, let's get into it. So in this box here at the moment is all the little bits and pieces that were loose on the layout with the sort of scenic side of it and the station. The only thing I've pulled out really is the uh, the hut from the kit which I made, which I'm probably going to use again in this depot scene. Um, that's all stored away in the garage at the moment. The canal scene I did actually sell. So hopefully in the, in the next couple of videos, you'll, I'll get, be able to give you guys an update of what that looks like now in its new home. But I'm pleased that went to someone who... Uh, really wanted it and was really looking forward to fitting that into the layout. Just along here, I've been working on my scale model scenery uh, mini baseboards kit. There's two of them here joined up and I've just added a slightly larger back piece just because I'm going to use this as my programming track as well as a sort of display stand for taking photos and things. So all I've done here so far is a polystyrene sort of hillside, painted it green Used the Woodland Scenic sort of uh, drainage point here, which Johnny's painting, and put some uh, concrete sleepers and some ballast down. So once that's had all the fencing and static grass and stuff, I think that's going to look quite nice. So on to possibly the uh, biggest change of the layout, as you can see, this is the only piece in here at the moment, it's five by two, and uh, this is gonna be my depot area. All I've done so far really is obviously mark out the track from the previous board as to where it's gonna join up on this one. In case, so for when I want to join the, the station scene to the depot, it means I can run trains the whole way through. I've also built the baseboards with a, a hollow interior. And if you can see out the back there, at the far side, that's where all the wires and things are going to come out. But I decided against doing an entire polystyrene base because it'd just be impossible to fit point motors and stuff. So the only polystyrene I've actually got is here, which I've slowly started carving away. And this is for the bank side, which continues on again from the station board. So this will uh, run along here with some static grass and things all the way up to here. And then I'm hoping for a nice big depot building and car park here. Um, as you can see, I've already got started to get some ideas of, a, of some kind of track plan. Um, this is a gauge master kit over here. This is going to be where I can get trains in and out of the board because this will run behind my current my current station board. So this will be where I can take trains off and bring them in. I'm not sure if that will be its permanent home, but there will be something there to get trains on and off the board. So continue on over on this side. Um, on the way, I've got ordered a handmade two-foot, uh, two-lane um, depot shed, as well as a single, as another two-foot single-lane depot shed, which are going to sit side by side here, which will allow me to fit up to six 
class 66s in there comfortably, which will be uh, really good for storing locos and things. And as it's five foot, the two foot's only gonna bring it to about about up here somewhere. So there's gonna be plenty of, plenty of room for storing locos, as well as the sidings down here, which will be the fueling point. And then up the far left there, there's probably gonna be some kind of depot scene and uh, a head shunt into these rear sidings over here. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to Kev from Medway Peninsula, who sent me these two Gauge Master um, buffers with the uh, lights that you can connect straight to the track, as well as a couple of points, and also a two part, two set um, fueling point. So this is gonna be hopefully in that corner over there or back by the sheds. It's gonna be the fueling point for the diesel locos. I know it doesn't look like much at the moment, but I'm fortunate with my job. I get fair amounts of time off in between my shifts to really sort of make some progress on this. So after making this for a couple of days, the wooden frame in the uh, garage, it's nice to get it in the kitchen now and uh, start work on some bits and pieces. Starting to get a track plan together. As I mentioned, the two tracks coming in here are from the uh, station board. And hopefully this will split off into straight into the shed to this lane and then off to the head shunt for the shed over there and the fueling point. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the new depot side. This whole board here at the moment lifts up. It's just on some wooden struts underneath, just keeping it nice and level. So that means I can work on the track base and once I'm happy with that, then I can fix it down. So none of this scenery is actually attached to that board. This is all, uh, as you can see, all separate. So we're back over at the, uh, my workbench now. And uh, as you can see in front of me, I have an awful lot of billboards. As this video is in association with um, tracksidesigns.co.uk, the guys over there sent me a whopping great care package of all of this stuff, plus absolutely tons and tons of um, station signs, billboards, posters, everything. So um, a huge thank you to them. They didn't, they didn't um, pay me to say any of this stuff. This is all products I've been, I've been I've been buying from them since I started doing my uh, layouts. So and they very kindly sent me this just to show you guys what some of the products they have got. Um, if you are interested in any of this, I'll leave a link to their website in the description. And if you use Wardle at checkout, you can get 5% off your order. So there's a little incentive as well, but their products are such high quality. So here's just some of the examples that I'm gonna be using on my layout. They even very kindly sent me some Wardle Road personalized um, stickers which i'm going to mount onto card paint it black and then mount them on the station building you've got information lots and lots of signs absolutely tons of stuff so as i say they very kindly put some of these together for me before they even sent me any of this stuff i had been using their products i've used this on my previous layout, the, uh, the personalized stuff on my previous layout and um the quality of this stuff is absolutely brilliant i wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone back there again and again if i didn't think it was something something um that I recommend. But as I say, they've not paid me to say any of this. They're, I'm, I'm doing this as, as an honest opinion and a company that I absolutely love going to and I think it deserves more recognition. So as I said, 5% off in their shop using the code Wardle at www.tracksidesigns.co.uk. So anyway, let's get into making some of these signs up. So to keep them sort of safe in the post as well, they do come with Cards. You can either use this or your own card, but I am going to use this for the, the sake of the video. So what I'm going to want to do is cut out the piece of the side, the piece of card that I want based on the size of the sticker and then paint it black. And then this will then be mounted onto the fence. See there, the edges are all now nice and dark. You can either use a Sharpie to color the back in or paint. So just for the sake of it, as I've got the Sharpie out, I'm going to color the back in with a Sharpie. But paint, you can do it just as quickly or an airbrush and just airbrush it over with a, a black paint. 
So I'm going to make a couple of the a couple more of these up. I'm going to do probably um, maybe an intercity one or maybe one of the uh, other adverts they've got and uh, I'll be back in a second. So as you can tell by the lighting, it's the uh, next day now. I've just been cutting out a few more of the uh, signs. So this one's going to go outside the station. I've got one more of them to uh, make up as well as a couple more information boards to go on this fence here. But um, for outside the car park, I've done a sort of like a, a double side. So I've got information boards this side and then adverts this side looking onto the road. So I thought it'd be it'd be a good um, place to locate them as if you were putting up a, a metal sign on one side, you used a bracket to then add an advertising board on the back of them. So yeah, let's go and put this onto the uh, layout. So as you can see from this angle down here, it really does add a nice little bit of detail with the uh, stickers on the inside. And I might put some in the stairwell as well because obviously I have a light in that stairwell so that will shine down on them nicely. The water road stick up here once mounted on a card looks really, really nice from both sides, it looks 3D. So I'm really pleased with that. And then as I said, I have one on this side. This uh, edge along the front here, this gap where the building looks like it's sort of lifting. That's just where it's not sitting on the pavement properly. So I'm going to have like an, another brick border all around the edge of that as well. So I hope you enjoyed my um, sort of mini February update. I don't know how long this video is going to be. And again, I apologise for being a bit chop and changey all over the place because uh, as I've just been working on bits, I've been filming it and then haven't really done like a set schedule as to how I was going to record this video, just film bits as, as and when I was doing them. But as always, thank you to everyone for watching and uh, hopefully you did enjoy the update. And uh, as I've mentioned a couple of times, if you've got anything that you change or improve or anything you like about it, please let me know in the comments as it's always good to re receive uh, pos positive uh, criticism. Again, a huge thank you to Trackside Signs for sending me a whopping great care package with tons and tons of stuff, which I'm going to be using on, which I, you would have seen in the video already. and. In the depot as well they're gonna i think they're gonna hopefully mix make some depot stuff up for me as well so that's gonna be brilliant but in the next episode next update i hopefully should have a kind of track plan together and uh fingers crossed in the update after that i have some form of trains running in time for the 28th which i'm going to be doing a live stream for the giveaway winners and hopefully yeah some train running as well which would be cool but as always thank you for watching subscribing We've hit over 700 now and I considering I only did got 500 like a, less than a month ago. It's amazing to see how quickly the channel's growing. Really appreciate all of you guys for tuning in and watching my videos. And uh, I really enjoy talking to you guys on Facebook as well and all the various groups. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your feedback in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Cheers.